Right now, I-29 has just reopened after a bad crash during the Friday rush. The wreck killed a semi-truck driver who had pulled over on the side of I-29 near Northwest Berry Road. Before police could get him safely back into that semi, he was hit. KCTV5's Emily Rittman is live near that crash. And Emily, this sounds just like a tragic accident. Very sad news to report, Brandon Ellen, and we can tell you that semi-truck driver had pulled over on the right shoulder here because he was having issues with his truck. Officers passing by stopped to help. The semi-truck driver was outside of his truck on the side of the road around 515 Friday night. A couple of our detectives had stopped. They saw him. They just stopped to help. And two additional uh, civilian members of the department had also stopped. With emergency lights on, the Kansas City police officers tried to help. Uh, the detectives had instructed him to get back in just because of the, the danger of all the passing vehicles. And before he could get back in, that's when the other accident happened. According to the initial investigation, a police car driven by civilian members of the police department was hit by the driver of a second tractor trailer pushing their vehicle into the driver. The civilian members were in the middle lane, slowing down just to give everybody more room, you know, just to try to make it safer for them out there. Right. And that's when the, their vehicle was struck from behind by the second, second tractor trailer. Officers want to remind drivers to move over if they see emergency crews on the side of the highway. There's very little margin for error. Tragic consequences could happen. It's terrible. I just feel terrible for this gentleman and his family. Now you can see traffic moving here once again. This ongoing investigation shut down southbound I-29 for hours Friday night. And in fact, it just opened up around 945 this evening. So this is a very busy area in the Northland. A lot of people make their way through the intersection that was just tied up with traffic. So good news for those now. This traffic is able to move freely again, but this investigation is ongoing. So we will continue to bring you updates as they become available. We're Reporting live, Emily Rittman, KCTV 5 News. Terrible incident. Emily, thank you.